Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Spange and uh, kind of picking up where we left off in the last episode. I, I sort of rearranged the uh, refinery and assembler. I thought maybe having a cargo box between the two would allow them to flow in and out of each other, but uh, I don't think so. I think the assembler needs to be at the end of the line and the refinery actually needs to be just be between two cargo boxes maybe. I don't know. You, you let me know in the comments. Uh, I am actually recording this before the last video has gone up. So if you've left me a bunch of tips and stuff from that video, I'm afraid I haven't read them yet, but I will have after this one. So uh, keep them coming in and uh, <laughs> yeah, um, help me out. <laughs> I need all the help I can get, I think. Anyway, we were sort of adding drills to this little ship um, on the last episode. And I think I should have everything I need now to finish this little, this drill off at least anyway. And then I want to add another one to the other side, but I need to cut into the hole on that side. I actually need to move the ship out. Oh, we're out of construction computers. Um, yeah, I will actually need to move the ship out um, a little bit in order to gain access to that side. I don't know why I hit there. So, have I actually got any more construction computers? I don't think I do. I think um, I need to build some. And this is the other thing, is that all the little control panels that I have are all on weird wonderful angle so I've got I got construction computers lined up it's just working away on those at the moment we have a lot of ironing lots available um, thankfully I think the uh, the refinery if I can go to so yeah the basic refinery we've got lots of stuff that we've just been processing in there and uh, that should keep us going a little while because I did do a little bit extra mining I've got a few rocks just left over lying on the ground out here as well. Um, because I think, well, I mean, in the moment, this is the best place to mine because there's gravity. And these rocks obviously just fall on the ground. If I went out to a asteroid and started mining out there, it'd be a little bit different. A little bit, they'd just float off into space. So, <laughs> this is why I'm trying to build a mining ship so I can actually hit up those asteroids uh, with some big, dirty drills. Uh, move that cargo directly into uh, move that sort of uh, rocks and stuff directly into cargo I should say um, but yeah this iron deposit being in this uh, asteroid is incredibly useful <laughs> that's always helpful obviously by design but you know anyway so let's pick up as much of this as we can probably not going to be able to pick it all up Inventory full. And then I just have to run back to here and plop that in there. And the uh, refinery will pick it up from there, which is quite nice. So it's obviously it's doing uh, input by conveyor, but it's not doing output. Uh, and it does have it does have two conveyor ports on this refinery. There's one on the on the top of it. You can't see it from here. And I wonder if uh, I, if I was to add another cargo box to that conveyor. Um, that it would output to that cargo box once it had refined stuff. Let me know in the comments if that's right or not. I'm probably not going to find out in this episode, I think, because cargo boxes require cobalt. And I'm not picking any of that up at the moment from this iron deposit. For obvious reasons. It's, it's bloody iron deposit. But yeah, I need these metal grids for... Um... Oh wait, is that in my cargo box? It is. Oh, I may be able to do one then. I may be able to do one. So that'll be an interesting. I might do that once it's finished refining this bunch. I will maybe redesign this once more so that uh, we have a cargo box, another cargo box between the refinery and the assembler. The assembler sounds like it's finished doing whatever it was doing though. And um, we now have. I think that's inventory full again, isn't it? Yep, uh, let's go out and... Whee! No, okay. I need to dump a bunch of those internal um, plating that I've got. It's taken up so much of the inventory space. There we go. And then uh, these little panels. And then we can grab... 
all those computers. We should be able to finish this little badger off. Oh, blowing into space. Oh, and then large steel tubes now. Now this is the other thing as well. It's like, oh, I can't remember what I need. Um, or how much of what I've got. So, um, <laughs> large steel tubes. I even got the ability to make those. I do, actually. Yeah, I do. Okay, can we have like 30 of those, please, then, sir? And uh, while you're at it, let's, let's have a quick check of what else we need. So, we've got the computers now. We need we need three more motors and um, a bit more steel plate, because I think we've only got 67 of 120 steel plate there. Where is our steel plate? We don't have any steel plate. Any more steel plate? So let's get you, let's check our inventory first. Have you got any more motors? Nah, you don't. So I need motors and steel plate, as well as these tubes it's building for me. Fine. <laughs> uh, production. Steel plate. Give me, give me a hundred of those. And, um, I just make it, make it 105 motors. Tell this not satisfactory. <laughs> Jesus, the motor's in satisfactory, a bit of a pain in the ass to make. But anyway, there we go. Um, that oil manufacture that. Once the refinery here is finished doing its business, we'll move it. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to, how I'm going to do this. I'm going to have to take these both out and just, I can put the refinery right next to this cargo container, put another cargo container here, and then put the production thing on the end of that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then we can finish this bad boy off. Well, I say finish it off. We'll, we'll complete its modification. I'm slightly concerned that the drill heads are a little bit too close to the front of the ship. I'm just going to end up ramming asteroids and destroying half the front of the ship. But we, we will see. We will see what happens um, when we've finished it. I want to put the second drill on before we go out as well. I want to complete both drills. Um, yeah, we just need... These final little bits of bits and pieces, bits and bobs. Um, oh, did I not click on the little? Energy low. I'll get to you in a minute, my darling. Right, hang on. Here we go. Small cargo container. There we go. I have these. All right, you can't seem to access the inventory from these little panels. It's such a shame. I have to actually click on these damn things. I suppose it makes sense if you've got. A no, because the the assembler's only hasn't. It's got an input, but not an output. So I assume it just assembles things and leaves them in itself. Anyway, here we go. Motors and steel plate. I should be able to finish that off now. Hopefully. Oh, the steel tubes. Where, where, where did they go? I thought I picked them up. Are they not in there? Well, damn. What happened to the steel tubes? They didn't go in there, did they? Yeah, they did. Why did they end up in there? Can't pick any more up. I'm full. Energy. Keep going back here. Top up the old energy. Now, this takes a while. <laughs> you just cut down there. Hang on. It's about enough time to make a cup of tea. It's all good. Right. Okay. There we go. And cool. Cool. So that should convey her into through through down into there. Right? Right? If it doesn't, I have no idea where it's conveying to. Unless there's like a cargo box here as well, but I don't think there is. I think that is a junction. Um, and this oxygen thing must have a junction on it, and that must have a junction on it, and that must have a junction on it, and that must have a junction on it. And I think it just all goes through itself. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to turn her on. Hang on. Uh oh. Yeah. I can't turn her on. Wait, what? How do you. Power? No, not power. Why? Let's not move yet. 
Uh, I tell you for why. No, oh. no, oh. because I need to. I need to turn the old uh, um, landing gear to unlock, and and now we can move. Easy. Doors are a bit vicious, aren't they? Because my other concern as well is uh, after moving off from the station here, uh, are we just going to drift into into space? Is there a key I can use to to level level her off, or is it just deal with it? There isn't a level off. You're in space. Okay, I think. I think we'll be okay from here then. Ooh. So we need to oh, I wish I wish I could could I power off using one of these little control panel things here the air vent so that I don't just start blasting oxygen into space. Air vent uh toggle block off. There we go. Depressurize the vent. Air vent will remove air from the room and store it in tanks. Oh, there we go. Okay, so room pressure zero. Block is now off. Let's turn turn you off. Smashing. Uh, <laughs> just shoulder barge the side of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the conveyor is there, so let's remove this block here. There we go, there's a nice little conveyor tubey bit. And then that goes into this block here. Which on the other side, I believe, is... is um, it's a well, conveyor junction, isn't it? Yeah. It's a conveyor junction, that's fine. We need to remove this, and we need to remove this. Behind, I don't know what that is. Okay, fine. Uh, so we need a conveyor junction. That's not a conveyor junction. That's an assembler. <laughs> right, hang on. C c conveyors. <laughs> Bloody hell! You would have seen better YouTube videos of this game. <laughs> I'm um, sorry. Right, here we go. So, yeah, and we need the drill again. Block tools. Another drill, please. Susan. Okay. First of all, the junction. Goes there. Then we need... Oh, what did I do? I mean, it's gone wrong here. There we go. And then, uh, like that. Yeah, I think. I think that's how we got it on the other side. All right. So let's build up the junctions. There's that. The conveyor junction and the, and the little conveyor corners. Oh, we're out of motors again. Bloody hell. Well, we're going to need a lot more, so let's get the assembler working on that then. Yo! Production. Give me some... Ah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> um, Wait, the... Um, this is... The refinery should have a bunch more in there now. Yeah. It does. I think I can transfer them from the little control panel here. I did that before, I believe. Basic assembler, we just do that. Yeah, there we go. There's no nickel amongst it though. <laughs> it was all just iron. Uh, we're gonna have to go mining again, aren't we? Because there's no way I can make motors. Production, motors. Damn it with the nickel! Swine! Alright, fine. Uh, oh, my inventory is very full. Let's pop all this into the cargo box. 
bring up as much space as possible before we then dig some ground. So let's go dig some ground. Okay, so we can now make some motors. Although, I'm just going to run out. Well, I did line up a hundred, so <laughs> probably not. Probably not the best. Right, there we go. We've got some more nickel there. More iron, silicon, blah, and gravel, whatever that's ever going to be used for. Um, okie dokie. So, let me just grab. I uh, can't remember how many motors it was that we needed. Is it nine? I need more than that. Oh. Is that all you could do with nine? You've run out of nickel again. I'm hoping nine's enough. Wait, what was it again? We were making this thing. Yeah, we need six. That's fine. Right. Let's grab the other bits that we need. Oh, I don't know now. I should probably do, for now. And then I just need to do a bit more mining, I suspect, to get the drill. Finish that off, 100% that. And then I'm going to be out of motors again. Yeah, motors and interior plate. Fine, okay. Um, well, actually, that's while we're there. Put the drill. Oh, I've already got it. Never mind, it's on six. Why won't that? Oh, there we go. Bingo. And this, <laughs> once again, requires a crap load of stuff. Another 40 construction computers, 120, 200, 300 steel plate. Right, right. Well, I'm going to do a bit more mining then. Um, and uh, see if we can finish that off. And then we're going to take her out for a spin. Okie dokie, so we have two drills on our ship, finally. I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to go and see now. Uh, well, let me double check that we've actually got, because I assume we need some fuel, right? And that's got no ice in it, so it's got, we've got some hydrogen in the small cargo container. And we do have some ice in the hydrogen power generator. I'm going to grab a little bit more though. Because why not? Um, I think we've got a fair bit in here. If I get, grab another like kilo or whatever. Let's grab two, three even. There we go. That'll do. Let's grab that. We'll put that in our... Um, in our generator. Oh. I can't put it in there. You can put it in the H2O generator though. Let's put it in there. Then can we transfer it from... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it from the cargo box. I still get used to the inventory system and how it works or how it kind of doesn't work. <laughs> ah, here we go. So... If I, I don't want to put it all in there though, and likewise, oh, it doesn't seem to be able to move between the two of them at all. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> We're going to ignore it. Uh, we need to power on. So why? Let's close some doors here. We got, um, we got to turn our air vent back on and depressurize off so we now have some air. I also want to put the drills I think on to my toolbar somehow so that I can use them. Um, not quite sure how to do that really. There we go. Right. So I have a camera. I like the little smoke effects you get. So maybe I need to do that via block tools and then put that down there like three I can turn my lights on as well interior lights I have no idea <laughs> I can turn three I can do a mose 
<laughs> okay, cool. Um, well, we're gonna head over in this uh, direction. We're gonna try not to crash into this rock over here. Well, we, we kind of want to crash into the rock, right? Because we want to drill the rock. No idea what the sort of... Uh, we've got inertia switched on at the moment, so it's automatically slowing us down when I take off the throttle. Task, ship mining. Oh, hello, we've got a thing down here. Hang on, let me uh, lower it down. Oh, there's a rock there. we got a sort of station in here as well. Oh, crap. Well, what do you know? Hello there. Ha! Huh. <laughs> well, let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. I don't like these doors. They're a bit rubbish. So we've got a beacon here. Okay, great. What on earth have I got myself into? Is there a ship in here? <laughs> Bloody is as well. <laughs> well I assume it, it's broken. Uh, is it damaged? It's docked to the roof here. Am I upside down? Is that what's going on? Oh, okay. So let's um, let's have a look and see what the task says. So there is a useful mining ship here, but it needs to be repaired. The required components are likely near your current location. Restore power to the mining ship. I've just spent all this time. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, we can turn lights on. Oh, that's nice. Um, what have we got in here? Anything useful? Hey, we've got a few bits and bobs. I bet that's what we need to repair the little mining ship, is it? Wow, we can't take a lot of these energy cells. Um, in what way does it need repairing? Oh, I see. You need some thrusters. We need a thruster comp for that. Uh huh. Is that it? You just need a bit of thrustering. A bit of thrusting. Can't really see any. I mean, there's lots of like little sparks and stuff going off. Oh, yeah. That, this thing, power cell, needs a battery. I can repair that bit though. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Well, this is a fun little boat, isn't it? Yeah, it's got two drills as well. And a pre-sort of dug mining tunnel. But, so bearing in mind here, I've got my own ship. There's that little tool thingy. Is this uh, where it parks to unload all of its ill-gotten ow? All the ill-gotten goods into the wall. <laughs> Does that end up over here then? Does it go through, through the wall somehow? I don't know. I don't know. But our ship is upside down here. And I wanted to see whether we can mine with this. So let's quickly do that. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, it might be that it's just too big and I've made an... <laughs> Ow, you little dick. <laughs> I hate these doors. Such assholes. Asshole doors. I'm watching you. Right. Because let's... Um... Is this thing too big to like mine with? Is that a problem? <laughs> I don't know. Three. I'm just gonna drill some rock. Here we go. I'm drilling rock, baby. Oh, I got a, I got a problem. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just rotate the ship, right? That's how we get around this problem. I mean, it's working, I think. This is working. Not sure if I'm getting any like actual rock into the uh, into the ship. That's pretty cool. I like the uh, the particle effect coming off the drills here. It looks like I'm actually drilling. All the sparks coming off and everything. It looks pretty sweet. But yeah, my my design is entirely shite. Uh, <laughs> Let's just have a quick check of uh, the cargo boxes. Can I do it from here, actually? I can. I don't need to go all the way. Inventory. Uh, small cargo box. 
Drill two has got stone. Drill, drill, drill two and drill two. <laughs> We've got two drill twos. But they have stone. They have picked up 62.9k of stone. Um, which is a crap, non, uh, crap load quicker than what I was doing by hand. And so... The good news is that CV, or I don't even know if this is a CV, I assume it is, the big boat in it. Are they, are they called CVs in uh, Space Engineers? I don't know. But the mining does work. <laughs> My design is, is terrible. <laughs> Which is fine. It's the first, I mean it's not even mine anyway. It's what I was given to start the game with. But there you go, look! Ship mining! Yay! Anyway, I will go and it will mine that. Uh, repair that little one because I think if we can repair that and then dock it with this thing um, oh, I might take the drills off of this thing and put something else on there I don't know I suspect that's probably what that little tube on the outside is there for so that we can dock I don't know we needed some kind of receptacle on this don't we oh something broke <laughs> so it really broke. Oh, what happened? So it broke. Ah, oh, you blew up my um. I don't know I'm pressing all sorts of buttons now. I I take my jump jet thingy because jump jet in Imperion is J. How did that happen? Something really wrong has gone on here. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. But the uh. <laughs> the corner conveyor has gone for a wonder. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> something, something, something bad happened. Let's get back to the space station before something else bad happens. Stupid doors. I don't know. Um, also, where, where the hell is... Where the hell did I come from? Um, shipbuilding task over there. Ship tools task over there. Com... Ah, fuck. I don't know where I am. Where did I come from? I think maybe... Was it that one over there? Hang on. I gotta get back behind my ship. Was it this one? I think maybe it was. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost. It's uh, episode two, and I'm lost. No, no, found it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I did. It is this one. It is this one. It's okay. Yeah. Oh! What? Well, there goes that drill. Why? I don't understand. <laughs> Why? Come back. Why are parts falling off my ship? Will it ever stop as well? Or will it just carry on forever? I do not get it. Let me know in the comments. What am I doing? What's stupid? Why? Why does my drill? Why is my drill just flying off into space? And that's it, it's gone, isn't it? I'm not going to catch that. That's that's just lost resources. Why did it? I don't understand. Was I putting too much inertia or something? There's some bits here. Let's see if I can recover these. This is why I should never have put drills on this thing. Doors. Scrap metal. Is that what it is? Just a bit of scrap. Scrap metal. And when they drill, it's just destined to drift through space. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Why <laughs> did it fall off? <laughs> What did I do? Is the other one just going to come flying off now as well? 
Do I need to put like some panels around them or something to secure them in, in place? If I go, <laughs> is this one going to come flying off any second now? And did I just like hit some random space debris? And that was it. Clang. Oh, crap. Alright, I'm just going to have to leave it there. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> I gotta, I got to remove this other drill before something else horrendous happens, I think. Uh, I'm going to lose the resources for this one as well. Why are you guys falling off? I don't understand. I gotta take the stone into my refinery manually because uh, it's not connected to a conveyor anymore. Yay! <laughs> anyway, Jesus. Well, that was fun. At least we got a free mining ship over there. I don't know what I'd do without that. <laughs> Be a total loss. Unknown signal was detected. Yeah, unknown signal is going to get ignored for the time being, my friend. Uh, while I revert the nonsense that I did to this ship <laughs> and put some panels on it so it doesn't start flying apart at the earliest earliest convenience. Oh, this is going to take a while. This is going to take a few back and forwards, I think. Um, I, I I suspect that there's using these conveyors later on to offload all this stuff automatically. Uh, is is what we're going to be aiming for uh, at some point, but for now I am resigned to moving it by hand. Anyway, I think what we need is to repair that little mining ship, like I said, and uh, get that thing docked to this thing, and then we can go around the mining with that instead. But we will need to try and figure out how to get that. Well, it was in that space station actually. There was a, there was a tube that we could connect it to. It would obviously, I assume, it would offload its its goods into that tube, and that would then come and feed through to this one. But I don't know how to even begin trying to dock this to the external uh, tube that we saw. It's going to be something to do with this conveyor junction here, and I think I saw. Where was it? It was in conveyors. This connector here. And there was an ejector as well. The collector. Maybe that's what we need. Collect items when they get close to the collector's funnel. Oh, maybe maybe not. Maybe that's what we need in order to collect our space debris. <laughs> when they get close to the funnel. So Hoover. Ejector. Uh, ejector allows small items to be ejected from small ships can also be used to access inventories. You use the ejector together with conveyor sorter to collect and throw out specific items. Right, okay. That's sounds complicated. But anyway, I think this connector is what we need in order to connect because it was round um it was a round connector on the outside of that space station. Uh well we will see. We will see. For now, my life is resigned to trying to move 42k of stone, 5k at a time, uh, <laughs> into my uh, into my little ref basic refiner here. Uh, and this is the other thing I think we need to do is get a bigger refiner so that we can refine more stuff quicker. Because now that we're going to have a mining ship, we're going to need to do that. Uh, yeah, okay. Starting to get an idea of the progression now. And it's quite good that everything's sort of we got to go over there and figure what there's a task over there, a ship building task or something. So that'll be interesting. And we got a taste of modifying our ship and it flying apart for no reason. <laughs> It'll be a good tutorial to have, I think. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for today, guys. Like I said, I'm going to quickly empty this and then uh, gather some bits and bobs and go back to that space station to repair our little mining ship. And then next episode, we'll see if we can figure out how to use that and offload its goods into this thing and bring it back here to be refined, maybe. Possibly. If we're deciding to stay here. I don't even know. I mean, I guess so. Why not? Anyway. <laughs> Tips, comments, as always, down below. <laughs> 
And as always, thank you very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. And I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.